Listen to Brian Kilmeade say it was Jordan Neely's fault he did not live. But you get on there and there's no cops around and what happens often, you have a homeless guy, 30 years old, now we find out he's got numerous prior arrests, uh, offenses including assault, disorderly conduct, uh, uh, beating, trying to beat the fair, and he's also confronted law enforcement in the past. You don't know what's going on. He's sitting there seeing how this person is throwing garbage and berating. So evidently he is, uh, gets him in a chokehold, a submission hold, to control the person, not to beat him senseless, which he clearly could have done. 24 years old, Marine background. He decides there's nobody around. This guy's not going to get in control. I'm worried about the other passengers. Our own, uh, you know, with Adam, with, with Adam Klotz. He saw somebody else being intimidated. He gets beat up. So this guy sits there. Then a couple of people held him down because he was still screaming. By the time they get off on Bleecker Street, uh, he's unconscious, and sadly, he passes away. That wasn't anybody's intention. But when you're in that subway car, it's almost like you're in the octagon. I mean, who's coming for you? You go in between stops. How how many, how many more victims do we need in, in all these cities, especially in the subways in New York, uh, before something like this happens? When you let homeless run crazy, when you never arrest anyone, sooner or later someone's going to take things into their own hands. But clearly that wasn't the attention. That is not the attention of getting in a hold like that. That is to control the person. Well.